The guide I chose to use is a booklet called Abuse, Information for Adults Physically, Emotionally, or Sexually Abused as Children. This booklet is written in part by people who have experienced abuse, and it strives to help you understand the effects of childhood abuse, both at the time and its impacts on you now, and discover ways to begin to overcome the effects and where to get additional help. We'll start with some of the effects. The first effect of childhood abuse is the issue of trust. It is very difficult to trust others. When those who you trusted most and relied on to care for you let you down, it's extremely difficult to trust others. Unfortunately, this can lead to loneliness and isolation. Intimate relationships can be a problem for those who have been sexually abused due to the difficulties that can arise from sexual abuse. People who have experienced this type of abuse may find it rather hard to accept physical affection. Another effect of childhood abuse is emotional instability. Some survivors of childhood abuse are very depressed at times. Others experience mood swings or even feelings of shame, guilt, anxiety, fear, or anger. Another effect of childhood abuse is low self-esteem. Many people who have lacked love and respect do not learn to love and respect themselves. Feelings of inferiority can occur and self-confidence can be very low. Problems with food and eating can be another issue for those who have experienced childhood abuse. This can include compulsive eating, vomiting, binging, and starving. Many people who have been abused also deal with flashbacks and nightmares of what happened to them as children, which can be very disturbing. And another effect is the impact on achievement and performance. The theory is if you don't do well, then you won't draw attention to yourself. So just don't do well. And lastly, some of those who have been abused as children harm themselves in some ways. This could be in the form of attempting suicide, burning, cutting, or abusing drugs and alcohol. Next, the booklet covers several ways to begin to conquer the effects of childhood abuse. The first suggestion is to make sure you're safe now. If you have any feelings of self-harm, then please refer to the self-harm booklet in this guide. The second suggestion is regarding relationships. It's so important to ask for your needs to be met in a relationship. It is also important to set boundaries or limits to prevent from being used or let down by others. If you feel you may be in an abusive relationship, then it is essential to recruit the help of a support group or professional worker to put an end to the situation. The third suggestion is to contest low self-esteem like staying in bad relationships, hating yourself, or feeling guilty by first recognizing the good things about yourself and then challenge the thoughts you're often having. Also, learn to become more assertive and accept yourself for who you are. It's important to try to appreciate the strengths and weaknesses in yourself and others as everyone makes mistakes and achievements. Another suggestion is to have some ideas for self-calming as it helps when you're feeling highly emotional. Some examples are exercising, listening to music, crafting, walking, reading, calling a friend, or petting an animal. It is also vital to practice mindful breathing, which is a technique used to manage emotions. The booklet provides instructions for this. The best way to deal with nightmares and flashbacks is to write them down each time they occur. This practice gives less power and potency to the memory or nightmare that's ailing you. Also, reminding yourself that you are now safe and no longer in that situation has been a helpful technique. Lastly, keeping your well-being in check is always a great way to pinpoint target areas such as health, diet, exercise, finances, sex, and family or relationship problems. Lots of additional help is available through books, websites, and additional contacts. You will find several listings for each in the last pages of this booklet. Thank you.